with the pandemic almost over, county fairs are making their return, which also means a return of the classic fair food, funnel cake. A couple problems. The pandemic is almost over here in the States. Elsewhere, not so much. And let's not forget, county fairs can charge an arm and a leg for both admittance and parking. And hell, forget COVID, you're bound to get something even more deadly by entering a carney's personal space. So, how do we solve this problem? Simple, you make funnel cake at home. Yeah, I forgot to shave, it's my first week back, cut me some slack. Okay, to begin our funnel cake, we gotta start with a batter. So, in a medium-sized mixing bowl, crack in one egg. Then add half a teaspoon of vanilla. And three quarters of a cup of milk. Let's get together. Okay, we took care of the wet ingredients. Now the dry ones. Add in one cup of all-purpose flour. One quarter cup of sugar. Half a teaspoon of salt. And this is important, a teaspoon and a half of aluminum-free baking powder. Trust me, even when we dump a bunch of stuff on it later, you're still gonna taste it in the final product. So just go with aluminum-free. Why do they even put aluminum in this stuff anyway? What am I, the Iron Giant? Now listen carefully. Just mix it until everything's combined. Don't over mix. There, it's just come together. We don't want to over mix it. Otherwise it'll get tough and glutinous. You don't want that in funnel cake. Okay, here's the consistency you want. Dig in your whisk, lift it up, and if it comes off in little chunks like that, that's the consistency you want. All right, next step, frying time. I have here a straight-sided saute pan filled halfway up with vegetable oil and a paper towel cooling rack lined baking sheet. I got the temperature set to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Did you spend all of 2020 feeling smug that your country did a better job beating the coronavirus than the U.S.? Only to lack, only for, only for you guys in 2021 to be way behind in vaccinations? The number you're looking for, the number you're looking for is 175 Celsius. Now, can anyone tell me why it's called funnel cake? Because you use a funnel? Well, actually, no, because um, there's been new regulations passed by the uh, state of California and the... Yes, of course you use a funnel, you dumb son of a b Anyway, you're going to need a funnel like this. Make sure it has a little handle. So, so using a ladle, scoop our batter up and... Pour it into our funnel. If it's super thick, then you might have to jiggle it a bit. So just go in a circular pattern. All right, that looks good. All right, let it cook for uh, three minutes on one side. Okay, once the edges turn golden brown, flip it over. All right, once it's golden brown like this, it's time to take it out of the fryer. And onto the cooling line baking tray. The reason why we want the batter to be on the thick side, because if the batter was too thin, it just kind of formed together into some sort of inedible glob. But trust me, it's not even half as appetizing as it sounds. Once again, once they turn golden brown around the edges, flip them. Once it's cooled down a bit, plate it up. Dr. your funnel cake off with chocolate syrup, fresh strawberries, and powdered sugar. And now you know how to make funnel cake at home. Uh, one moment. For the thumbnail. It's like, it's funnel cake for TikTok. Okay, now I can dig into my funnel cake. Uh, social media is one tough mother, let me tell you. 
This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning at this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram, and support me on Patreon. You know, if COVID won't kill me this summer, diabetes will. <laughs>